online. It's me, Teacher Rhea. Wondering what am I doing? I'm actually preparing for harvest. I can't wait to visit my garden. I'm going to sell some of the flowers and give some to my friends. Wait, what day is today? Oh, it's the last Saturday of July. I almost forgot. All right, I guess I have to do this later because now Time for our review. Let's all put our hands together. Here is Prod, our gracious Father. Thank you for an awesome week we had. Lord, thank you for protecting us and for keeping us safe. Lord, we pray that we will learn and enjoy this day. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's all together stand up and worship God.
again, City Champs. It's me, Teacher Denise, and you know what that means. It's time for another monthly review. And with a little bit of a quiz today, but that's all right. I know you can all do it. So without wasting any more time, let's go. First off, let's start with our first lesson, as always. And this month, it was about the key to getting closer to God. Like we learned, champs, the world is a broken place. And we were separated from God because of... That's right, champs, because of sin. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, tells us that without faith, nobody can please God. And God loves it when we put our faith and trust in Him. But there's good news, champs. We can be restored with our Father in Heaven. Let's go back to what Teacher Kara said. To restore us back to the Father and give us eternal life with Him through believing in His Son. And that is faith at work. Aha! So that's the key to getting closer to God. Faith at work. Let's keep on believing, champs. All right, it's time for our second lesson. I have a question. Champs, do you want to be more like Jesus? Blink once, if yes. Blink twice, if very much yes. Blink three times, if super duper very much yes. <laughs> all right, all right, we all want to be like Jesus. But how can we change our ways of the world and be like Jesus? Hmm. We need the Holy Spirit to change us, to change our hearts, to change our thoughts, to change our speech, and to change our ways to be more like Jesus. Oh yeah! That's why in Romans 12 too, it tells us that do not be shaped by this world. Instead, be changed within by a new way of thinking. And only the Holy Spirit can help us change. Moving on to our third lesson, I absolutely love the story of Daniel. Did you guys love it too? Wasn't it amazing when he came out of the lion's den completely unharmed? I know, right? But how did he do it? That is the question. Was it A, he pretended to be a statue? Or B, he trusted God would protect him? Or C, he was watching Minecraft? That's why I'll give you guys a few seconds to choose your answer. And that's right, champs, it was letter B. Daniel trusted that God would protect him. And God did. Psalms 27 verse 1 reminds us that the Lord is my light and the one who saves me. So why should I fear? The Lord protects my life. So why should I be afraid? Champs, we should never be afraid. For God was with Daniel and God will be with you too. All right, we have made it to our fourth and final lesson this month. Oh, by the way, champs, have you read your Bibles today? The Bible really is such an amazing book, isn't it? It teaches us how to love, how to live, and so much more. But remember, champs, the Bible isn't just for us to read, but to apply the things we read in life, like choosing what's right from wrong, or forgiving someone that wrongs us, or telling people about Jesus. In Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, it tells us that some people might think they are doing what's right, but what they're doing will really kill them. That's why we need to read our Bibles every day and pray to God to help us do what's right. Can I get a thumbs up from you, champs? All right. Oh, the 
would you look at the time that ends our july review i hope this month's lessons will help you guys grow grow and grow closer to god i'll see you all next time the memory verse crew is ready for you see ya hey children Today is the last Saturday of the month and we will have a review of all the memory verses we had. Which one is your favorite? I like that verse too. Now, are you all ready? Our first memory verse is in the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Do not be shaped by this world. Instead, be changed within by a new way of thinking. Our second memory verse is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 6. Without faith, no one can please God. Our third memory verse is in the book of Psalm, chapter 27, verse 1. Some people think they are doing what's right, but what they are doing would really kill them. And our last memory verse is in the book of Proverbs 14, verse 12. The Lord is my light, the one who saves me. So why should I fear anyone? The Lord protects my life. So why should I be afraid? Wow, we had a lot of memory verses. But those are the Word of God and they are good for our spirit. You can read them again. But now, it's time for our wrap-up. Wow, what a joyful July! We've learned about faith, goodness, and knowledge. That we should not be shaped by this world, but be changed to have the nature of God. To put our faith in the Lord, and to be honest, do what is right. To keep the right information and reject the wrong ones. Let's allow God to change and shape us. So join us again next week as we continue our lesson on how to grow in the Lord. Now, let's close in prayer. Oh, holy God, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our teachers and guardians who help us grow in our faith. Lord, help us to be more like you. And we allow you to mold us to be the people you want us to be. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great week, children, and always remember, Jesus loves you, and we likewise do. See you!
rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. 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 And again I say rejoice. Everybody sing this song